Hey everybody, welcome back to another Slime Fun Tips and Tricks episode with your host Boomer. And today we're going to feature one of those machines that can really make a difference in the game. And what we're going to look at today is the Electric Gold Refinery. Now, it is a Fox Machines add-on, so this is one that you do have to have installed on your server in addition to Core Slime Fun. The crafting recipe isn't all that bad for it, especially when you get to see what it gets to do. So we start with an electric smeltery at basic level one, a couple heating coils, some hard metal, a motor, and of course a capacitor for power. What does a gold refinery do? Well, let's just whoop, let's just go take a look. These things are really nice. This lets you take gold dust and convert it directly without going through all the steps into the appropriate carrot gold you want. This one I currently have set up to craft six, and we'll come back to those in a minute. What I want to do is walk you through a traditional core slime fun option, what you have to do. Now, I, Celestial Power, of course, isn't core slime fun, but just needed a power source. So, as soon as I place on a cargo manager, this is going to set up and get started. And what it's going to happen is we're going to see gold dust come into the electric ingot factory. I've got two chests ready to go. Gold dust will also automatically transfer into all 10 small threes. As this produces four karat gold, it'll transfer to here, which will make six, which will transfer into this one. We'll make eight and 10 and 12 and 14, all the way up to 24. Once it hits 24, it'll make its way into the chest. So let's go ahead and start the process up. And as you'll now see, we have gold being produced. We have dust, and as it gets four carat, it'll work its way into here. We'll go up to here and make six. We'll go up to here and make eight, and so on and so on and so on, until we get to the very end where we're making 20, 18, 20, 22, and ultimately, if we want, 24 carat. Now, when you're working on all of these, again, you can have every one of these round robin off in the storage. So if you want to create just 24 carat well then this is all you have to do is send it from one to the other don't run robin it don't do anything else just have it drive right to the end but if you want to store a little bit of each as you go because you know crafting recipes are going to require all the different carrots then run robin it send us a little bit to each type of storage facility but what ends up happening is by the okay now we got our first 24 carat you saw up oh, i pulled out of there before it was done okay now it's crafting so 24 carats fun here you saw how long it took to get one if i were to round robin each one of these to save the four the six the eight the ten the twelve and so on so only half of them would get out of here and here right because half would go to storage for six carat half would move up here same thing here so cut that number in half so one quarter one eighth one sixteenth one thirty second one sixty fourth one in one hundred twenty eight two hundred fifty six five twelve one in a thousand twenty four dust and four karat gold that enter here will make it into the twenty four karat small three. In other words, it will take a long time round robbing all of that before you start seeing twenty four karat gold. Let's move over here. Again, I have a chest of gold dust and I have the three most commonly needed carrots up here 12, 16, and 24. Now, back up to the 24 carat. Here we go. Two stacks of gold dust fit in each one. Gold 24 carat. I've actually got all five running. So I've got 24, 18, 16, 12, and 6. So the five that I selected. That fast. And it pulls the appropriate amount of dust. So to go from a 4 carat ingot to a 24 carat ingot pulls 10 dust at a time so in other words you don't have to go through 10 smelteries to get 24 carat you can simply do it with one i think well it costs a lot well think about it it costs 10 smelteries to make that 10 input nodes 10 advanced output nodes or one of each and one smeltery a couple heating coils and four hardened to get 24 carat automatically that fast and even if i made 10 of these long term as long as i've got the gold dust producing at the rate that this uses it up 
Now granted, you're going to use 10 every time on a 24, 9 every time on a 22, 8. So when you add that up, uh, that's 55 gold dust every cycle. And it looks like a cycle is set to run 4 seconds. Plus the amount of time that the items get moved from one slot to the other and from cargo. So if you're producing 55 gold dust every 4 seconds, all 10 of these will run without an issue. Just a nice little tip that I thought you guys would appreciate. Thanks for watching. Again, leave ideas, suggestions, comments below, and a feedback. But don't forget, when you're playing Minecraft, you gotta go boom or you gotta go home. We'll see you later.